Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be doing a Fashion Nova haul. This is my first time trying clothes from them, and I did buy everything myself. I'm super excited to start trying everything on and sharing my thoughts. I guess I'll point out as well that most of the items I picked up are for my upcoming holiday, so I'm going to Japan. I've spoken about it a lot, and there are a few pieces for that that I was wanting along with a few items that I thought would be good for autumn and winter here in Australia. So I've got a bit of everything and I do have quite a bit. I've got this big bag here full of clothes, so I'm not going to ramble on any longer. I'm just going to get started on trying everything and sharing my thoughts. All right, I think I'll start out with tops. And the first one that I have here is a plain black top. It is off the shoulder and it's called the Different This Time Top. So clearly it looks quite small. I hope it has some stretch. I think it's meant to be on the shorter side, kind of cropped, and it's very simple. It's basically a boob tube with two little sleeves that are attached, so I guess it's good that they shouldn't slip down or anything. Everything should hold in place pretty well, I think, if I can fit into it. I got everything in a size small since I consulted size charts, and it seemed that that would be my size, plus it's generally the size that I go for in American sizing, so hopefully this will work out. I just thought I'd pick it up since I've got a lot of off-the-shoulder tops, peasant tops in different colors, but none in black. So I'm really hoping this one works out. All right, so here's the first top. I've got to say, I was very happy when I put it on that it was nice and stretchy. It went from looking like a baby doll top to a real human top. So I'm happy with that. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or too tight or anything. The top uh, band around the top of the bust is definitely feeling firm but I suppose that is good for making it feel like it's staying there and not going to be slipping down. One thing I'm noticing is with the sleeves or the little armbands that they definitely seem quite small. I feel like it looked a little bit different on the model, but she definitely had smaller arms than I do. I don't know if it looks silly or if I'm just imagining it, but it's just a little bit strange. Maybe I'll grow used to that part of it, but overall I do really like the top. And from memory, this one was really affordable. I think it was one of the cheapest pieces in the whole haul because clearly there's not much fabric here. But I do really like it. It kind of makes me think of Bad Sandy at the end of Greece, which I really like. Of course, the fabric's a little different, but just the cut of the top is nice. And around the back, it's quite low, but I feel like it still looks very flattering on the back. Overall, I feel like I got lucky with this one since I wasn't expecting too much. Truth be told, I really didn't think it was going to fit based on how small it looked when I held it up, but I'm pleasantly surprised and can't wait to road test this one, actually trying it out in the real world and see what I think. Oh, I just noticed something as well when I was moving around my arms. I realized that this is because of the design and off the shoulder top that you actually have full movement of your arms with. Uh, the top and sleeves aren't going anywhere, which seems like a strange thing to mention, but normally little peasant style tops and other off-the-shoulder tops, if you do this for whatever reason, putting your arms up in the air, trying to grab something, the whole shirt will move, but I feel really strange doing this. It is actually a really good design uh, choice that they went with, just to have the little band attached at the armpit there, I guess. So another positive about this one. All right, now the next top that I have here is quite out there and very different to anything else that I have, but I couldn't resist picking it up. It is a hot pink boob tube and it is called the Ophelia top and I just couldn't resist it. It's clearly just a ruched piece of fabric, so it has some stretch. I hope it fits okay. I'm really worried that it will end up being a little bit too short, even with something high-waisted, but I guess I'll have to try it on and see. I think I was really drawn to this top because I have been appreciating that early 2000s style lately and I don't have any boob tubes or strapless tops at all. I noticed this recently when I felt like wearing one. It was just a strange mood I was in that day and realized I didn't have any, so I thought I'd pick this up. I love this, oh my god. I'm very happy again with the fit of this one. I feel like a lot of the time crops definitely shrink down and end up more like a bra than an actual crop top, but this really does come down to my waist, which is awesome. And I like the fact that it is quite firm ruching, so it feels pretty supportive, surprisingly. Now, with the color and style of this top, I just feel like a bitch from a movie in the 90s or 2000s, or like Trisha Paytas or something. Just this very bright pink, very out there sort of top, and I love it. I'm only regretting the fact I didn't buy it sooner so I could get full wear out of it in summer, but there are still some hot days, I guess, so maybe I can still wear it. 
and perhaps in winter I can go full 2000s garish style and wear this with a hot pink juicy couture jacket because it's the exact same shade of hot pink. I know it seems a bit strange that I appreciate this so much because I've really only spoken about my love for vintage style but lately I have liked other styles as well including 2000s because it's a little bit nostalgic for me. So I'm really glad that I picked this up. I don't know if I necessarily like it in other colours, I just feel like it goes hot pink perfectly but maybe I would go back and get a black or a white. But this one seems really comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere because it feels quite firm. So I do hope that it doesn't stretch out over time and become loose. But for now it fits perfectly and I can't wait to wear this one out. I don't know what else to say about this one. I just love it. <laughs> now onto the last top. And this one is the Talk That Talk off shoulder top in mauve. And I love it because it is long sleeved but it's still off the shoulder. I always love an off the shoulder top. And now I should be able to wear this one in autumn and winter. I really love the sort of blush toned pink on it as well. I know that the description of this colour is mauve, but to me I describe it as a blush pink. I feel like this is something that I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of. Surprise! Here's another top that I love. I'll point out this one's a little bit different from the rest though because I actually have worn it out before. When I first received the package I was going out that day and decided to wear it along with one of the pair of jeans and I really do love this. It's very comfortable and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it in the coming months because it is long sleeved so it feels warm but it still looks really nice because it's got that off the shoulder design that I really love. Now this one I'll point out in case anyone gets it, I found that I wasn't able to just climb into it. It did need to be buttoned up to be worn so small thing but it does have real buttons so that's just something to consider. Take the extra bit of time because you will end up trapped trying to climb into it like I did when I first tried it on. And fit wise as well with this one, the other day when I wore it it did fit perfectly. I just wore a strapless bra and it sat nicely. Today I'm not going to that effort so it does seem a little bit pulley and gapy here but the other day it was fine. Again no negatives to say on it so so far things are going well. I don't know if Fashion Nova I've just gotten lucky with, if maybe there are some duds in the rest of this haul, but so far things are going really well. Now, unlike the first one, if I do move my arms a little bit, it is going to adjust, but I feel like for the fact it is quite tight, it won't be slipping and sliding too much, which is great. And I think because I love this one so much compared to the others, this is one I'll definitely be buying in multiple colors. It's hard for me to say if I have a favorite top out of the bunch, um, maybe this one, I think because it's the one that I chose to wear first thing, but I loved all of them so far, so I can't wait to see how the rest of everything looks. Now I'm done with tops, so I'll be moving on to some dresses, and the first one that I have here is the Jaclyn off-shoulder mini dress in oatmeal, so even though they're described as oatmeal, I definitely feel like this is just a bit of a light grey, and it is just a simple mini dress buttons down the middle there, but they aren't real buttons. It's all sewn closed on the inside, which is great, so we shouldn't have any gapage issues with this one. And again, it's off the shoulder since I just love that. I really like showing off the collarbone and I feel like it's just a flattering sort of style, so I couldn't resist getting these. I feel like I've seen these sorts of dresses from Fashion Nova for ages in all sorts of different colours and I've wanted to buy one for months and finally decided to do this. So I'm really hopeful that this will fit nicely and be flattering since I do like the idea of going for a bit more of a neutral colour and I just love the idea of this piece. I feel like I'm blending into the background on this one. Uh, just because of the colour it is definitely more of a grey than an oatmeal but I really prefer it. I know some of the shots on the website made it seem more of a light brown oatmeal but to me it's a bit more of a light grey but I really do like it and the fit of the dress is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't had a sweater dress like this in years and since I stopped wearing the one that I had, I don't even know what happened to it, I really missed having something like this in my wardrobe. So keen to be able to wear this. Again, I mentioned before that these aren't real buttons, which is good. It definitely looks like they are, but it just avoids any issues with gapage or pulling. And I really like as well this, I think it's called lettuce sort of hem. It's all over the top and the sleeves as well. It's really delicate and beautiful. These little details on what is otherwise quite a simple dress is just such a nice touch. I don't think I said yet as well, but the buttons are kind of wooden, which is a strange detail, but I kind of like it. Now, I think what I'll do is share more of a full dress length. All right, here's the full length. I really love this one. I think 
I made a good choice going for the mini over the midi because they do have a longer one but since I'm short this is quite a flattering length I feel down to the fingertips so it's a little bit higher than my knees but I think it's quite a good length and overall I am happy with the look of it I'll point out I am a little bit insecure about the fact I have hip dips I'm trying to change that by going to the gym and doing certain exercises but it's just something about myself and sometimes I worry wearing tight skirts and dresses that they'll be shown off a little bit but I think because the fabric is kind of ribbed it covers that up a little bit which is nice and it just feels flattering in general even around the midsection I know I'm still blending into the background so you might just be able to see a head and hands I also thought I'd point out something here because it is such a light fabric it is double layered which is nice for coverage and just feeling like I'm not going to expose anything or have any issues with wearing coloured underwear or something like that just because it does cover up quite a bit even though again it is quite a light fabric now I loved the idea of that last one so much that I had to get it in another colour as well so I also picked up the Jacqueline dress in light pink I feel like all the descriptions of the colours are a little off it's called light pink but to me this is more of a mid-toned pink a bit more of a blush but either way it is a gorgeous pink and to be completely honest I had a whole bunch of other colors in my card but I decided I'll just go for two to start out with there was also a blue and a yellow one that I had my eye on but I didn't want to order too many in case they didn't fit so I just went for the gray and the pink one for now all right so here's the next one of course it's the same style as the last one but I'm trying it on just to show you especially since the last one was a little bit hard to see or at the very least that's what I think by looking in the viewfinder so I really like this light pink I think it's good that I got the two different colors since they fit and now I definitely need to go back and get more colors I really want that light blue because they do light blue of course I love pink and blue and the gray is going to be a nice neutral but for now gray and pink are definitely going to get a lot of wear especially in the coming months this one is again just as comfortable and just as beautiful I really love the shade I think it's a very nice shade for this dress I feel like this is one that I've seen the most on Instagram from other people wearing it seems like quite a popular one all right here's the full length on this one again even though of course it's the same style as the gray just by having two very different colors I feel like it gives such a different look I was just about to say I don't know which one is my favorite but let's be honest I really love pink so I have to say it's this one I just can't wait to wear it it'll be interesting as well to see how warm it really is it feels pretty warm to be wearing it right now even though I'm inside and I think on that note even if I had to layer up with this one to make it a little bit warmer it would look really nice with a denim jacket or something like that I think on both colors a denim jacket but it'll be interesting to see if this is warm on its own I won't get to find out for a couple months but at the very least I'll be wearing it in the meantime and I'm sure I'll be very comfortable in it so clearly I've already shared tops and dresses and you didn't think I'd make a fashion overhaul without buying jeans did you I will admit normally I'm a bit of a hater on jeans I wear them sometimes but I feel like I've never found a pair that fit well on me and that's probably why I don't like them so I just had to give these a go and see if they're as great as everybody says so I got two pairs the first of which I have here and it is the classic high waist skinny jeans in medium blue wash so they look quite simple and similar to other jeans that I've seen in the past they definitely don't seem to have teeny tiny waist proportions and wide hips so here's hoping they stretch I have heard that they have pretty good stretch and this one I got in a size 3 in case anyone was wondering it's a bit hard to show because they are so long but just a simple skinny jean is how they are so I'm going to try them on and give you a better look I'll start by saying that I have worn these jeans before with the pink top that I shared earlier the long sleeved one that I said I already wore I wore these jeans as well and I was so pleasantly surprised I made a post on Instagram from the day that I wore them and said that these are really the first jeans that I've ever worn that fit my hips and waist quite well so I haven't had to alter them and I don't need to wear a belt so they are fitting nicely around my hips without a gape at the back which is quite rare I've never experienced it before in fact and still they're stretching nicely over my hips without feeling too tight and squishing me in which is amazing it still feels like quite a thick uh, material so it doesn't seem thin or flimsy or anything like that which is amazing so maybe now I'll be converted from a jeans hater to a jeans lover I don't think I'd ever wear them daily or regularly but on the times that I do want to wear jeans I know I'll definitely be reaching for these 
even though with most jeans in the past I've always gone for skinny jeans they never really fit well but it's just what I've gone for and these are definitely the best jeans that I've ever worn so far in my life they fit nice and snug I think they have real pockets as well <laughs> not real pockets on the front pockets on the back though which is something and these ones are just decorative I guess it's good because there's no bunched up fabric here around the hips but now what I'm going to do is show full length of the jeans. So they fit very snug without being too tight. I've got to say they were very easy to put on. So I like the fact that they're quite stretchy. Surprisingly as well, because I'm on the short side, they're not too long. I actually like the look that I can achieve by scrunching them just a tiny bit. It makes the ankle seem a little bit thicker, but I could of course tailor them if I want. For now, it seems quite fine. Now to the last pair of jeans here, and these are a bit more of a statement jean. They're different to anything else, again, that I've ever worn before, but I'm super excited about them and really hope they work out. These are the Jayla High Waist Distressed Flare Jeans in dark denim. So they look quite simple at the top, but they are flared down the bottom. I've never had flared jeans before, but recently I've been wearing different pieces and kind of going for a bit more of a 70s style every now and then, and things just haven't looked right wearing skinny jeans, so I've been thinking for a while about getting some flares, and I've finally taken the plunge, so I'm really hopeful that these will work out. I don't think they'll be an everyday pair of jeans for me, but when I'm wearing some more 70s style tops and different pieces, just want to mix it up a little bit, I think I'll be gravitating towards these. So I'm going to try them on and hope I don't look ridiculous. <laughs> Ooh. I just wanted to say something before I show you the jeans. I thought when I looked at them in the packet, they didn't seem that flared. I thought it'd be quite subtle, but then I put them on. I'm just going to show you. I don't know if it's showing up as much on camera, but these are very wide, very full flares. I was wearing other heels before with the last pair and I had to change to these ridiculously high heels just so I wasn't drowned in fabric. So pray for me and give this video a thumbs up if I don't break my ankle. But I like it. I think uh, this will go really nice with certain tops. So I'm glad I picked these up. They're surprisingly comfortable as well. I don't know if I need to alter these and bring them up a touch or just make sure I wear really high heels because otherwise it just looks very scrunched and awkward if I don't wear very high heels because I have such a short leg. Kind of that look, which nobody wants to see. So, um, I'm just gonna try. I have to stand pretty far away from the camera so I don't know how these are coming off, but they're definitely flared jeans. I just thought I'd show the midsection as well. So just like the previous jeans, they are nice and form-fitting. No gapage, no bulges, no weirdness. And these ones also had a bit of an interesting detail on the back. Again with these ones, they have fake pockets at the front and real pockets at the back. As different as these are for regular pants that I wear, I'm glad that I finally have some because there are definitely certain outfits that I've really wanted flared jeans for and I haven't had them until now, so while this is probably the most out there choice, especially paired with this top for the whole haul, I'm really glad that I have them. And I'm in love with the fit. I'd say out of anything, there is a little bit of a downside with this because they are longer. The previous jeans were long as well, but at least I could get around that by scrunching the bottom. This one, not so much, so I do need to wear crazy high heels. Otherwise, uh, you might need to take them up a bit. Can't even see the heel. <laughs> They're so high and I shouldn't be messing around in these because I will fall off my stilts. So I think that's all I need to share on these ones. I need to climb down. All right, so now that's it for the haul today. I've got to say, I really loved every piece. I'll point out as well, normally when I go into buying from new shops and places, I'm always a little bit skeptical that things won't work out or they won't fit or I might be disappointed, but I can honestly say I was really pleasantly surprised by everything and the fact that everything I got I loved and there wasn't really any fail out of everything I picked up, which I'm very surprised by. I think out of all the pieces, my favorite piece would have to be the light pink dress 
or maybe tying that with the light pink top and jeans combination, the skinny ones, I really liked those as well. And I'm surprised on that too because like I've said a few times, I normally hate jeans. I'm not a fan, but now I can honestly say I do like fashion over jeans. So I'd recommend them for anyone who has troubles trying to get jeans that fit if you've got a smaller waist and bigger hips. But I'll throw it out to you as well. Did you have a favorite piece that I shared? Make sure you let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure I link all of the items that I showed in the description bar down below the video. But now I will be leaving this one here today. So I just wanted to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. But like I said, I am leaving it here. So I just wanted to thank you once again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.